Welcome to Retro Crisis. If you've heard of the Raspberry Pi, there's a good chance you've seen it being used for retro gaming emulation with systems such as RetroPie, Recalbox, and Lacquer. But did you know that the Raspberry Pi can also be used as an alternative to operating systems such as Windows and Mac OS? This can be achieved by installing Raspberry Pi OS. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. Firstly, I'll assume you own a Raspberry Pi with all the relevant cables and an SD card. If you do, on a separate computer, head on over to raspberrypi.com forward slash software, which I'll also leave linked in the description below. And then once you're here, go down to this big button that says download for Windows. However, if you're using Mac or Linux, you can use the Mac OS button or the Ubuntu button. But in this video, I'll be focusing on Windows. So click the download for Windows button. And then once the file's downloaded, double click to install. And you should see this screen. And it's as simple as clicking install. And then once that's done, make sure run Raspberry Pi imager is ticked and then click finish. Now at this stage, I recommend you insert your SD card into your computer. Once you've done that, click on choose device. And here you can select which Raspberry Pi board model you have. So for this video, I'll be selecting the Raspberry Pi 4 and then click on Choose OS. And as I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4, I'm going to be selecting Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. And then finally go to Choose Storage, and then select your SD card, and then click Next. And now you'll see this pop up. And then once you see this screen, you have the option to edit a few settings, or you can click No. In this video, I'll just be going straight to No, and then press Yes to initiate the installation. Just be warned that anything on the SD card will be erased. And then once the process has completed, click on continue. And now you should be good to eject the SD card and you can now insert it into your Raspberry Pi and then switch the Raspberry Pi on. Excellent, so once the Raspberry Pi has fully booted, you should see this screen. And this is the beginning of the setup process. At this stage, just make sure you have a keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi. You can also connect a mouse if you want to. But for this process, I'll just be using a keyboard. At this screen, go to next. And then on this screen, select your country, language, and time zone, and your keyboard layout, and then go to next. And then on this screen, enter a username for your device and enter a password twice. And then once you've typed that in, go to next. And then on this screen, you can select your Wi-Fi network. Once you've selected it, go to next, and now type in your Wi-Fi password, and then press next once you're done and it should take a few moments to connect to the Wi-Fi. And then on this screen, you can select which internet browser you'd like to use. For this video, I'll just simply be leaving it as Chromium, but it's totally up to you which one you'd prefer to use. So the tick box below, if you do select it, the installation process will remove web browser that you didn't select. But this option is totally down to you. And then go to next. And then here you're offered the opportunity to update all of your software. And you can click next to continue. Now this process takes a short while, so go grab yourself a drink or something. And then once that's completed, you'll see this message that says system up to date. And then press OK. And then click restart. And then once Raspberry Pi OS has finished doing its configuration thing, you'll be presented with a screen that looks a little something like this. Now I'll show you some very quick basics. If you would like to add a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, all you need to do is click on the Bluetooth icon up here and then go to add device. And then turn your mouse or keyboard or whichever device you'd like to add into pairing mode and then it should appear on this list and then all you need to do is click pair. The next thing is up here. This button here is the equivalent of the start menu in Windows. So if you click it once, you'll notice that all of the applications on Raspberry Pi OS are kind of divided into categories. So you can look at programming apps, your internet apps, if you want to watch videos, and the various other sections too. And if you go down here to preferences, this is where you can do system level changes on your Raspberry Pi OS device. And at the end of your session, if you want to shut down your Raspberry Pi, all you need to do is click on shutdown. Let's get you onto the internet, and then hopefully you'll feel like you're back at home. And as you can tell, you get a fully fledged internet browser. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.